I think this is grasping a bit. Like, I'm not going to say I jumped over the fence and changed my opinion. I do still believe that going around harassing people is definitely not. But that's not in the entirety of the community. People were really stating their opinions on what they want out of Pokemon. And my opinion, I've stated before that I don't like how Masuda said it. it was mainly a balancing decision on the case of Pokemon, why they didn't include most of the Pokemons. And then he redacted that statement as well as also they claimed it was more of an animation decision to include better animation, which also wasn't the case. Two false statements end up, you know, kind of winding me up. Harassment is obviously not welcome, but a great point comes into place when if you do not criticize something, how can it get better? If you just praise it for all the time, they're just going to give out below quality standards. And I do believe that is what Pokemon is. It's not the most perfect game in the world. Nothing is, right? Nothing is perfect in the world. But I don't think it's top tier game material. And I think Game Freak should step up their games. Because, you know, Breath of the Wild is a huge step up. You know, Zelda was always great, and now it's got better. Now it has a higher standard. It has Game of the Year standard. It, I mean, Ocarina of Time has Game of the Century standards, but you know, it's progressively getting better. Obviously, this is one of the first games on a home console, making it a main series game. They've always had to work in handheld material, so obviously they won't have the same experience of creating console games, home console games up to the quality of Zelda. Now I kind of understand what people are saying. People just wine and dine Game Freak to the point where it's just kind of odd because why would you just keep praising something if you were pissed off at some features missing? Like people complain about certain features and most of the time companies bring it back or change it up or make it better. Similarly to um, a lot of games which have loot boxes, people have, have stated outrage of that and then companies attempt to change it to better their market. Uh, they're reducing the price, reducing it to just cosmetics instead of pay to win, increasing the chances, making it more balanced for what the consumer wants, but not completely getting rid of it. And when Pokemon gets rid of a feature, it never really comes back. Similar to the Battle Frontier, it's just replaced with a more a battle tower instead. Similarly to what Sapphire, Fire Red and Leaf Green has, opposed to a battle facility where you battle multiple buildings and multiple different types of battling styles. So that's never been included back since Platinum. A player search system was highly, highly favored over the Festival Plaza, which was included in Gen 7. Uh, people loved the PSS way more because it was easier to handle and didn't require you to leave uh, your in-game to go into a plaza, which no one really used. And we have never been told that the PSS could be re-added into the games. So for context, people do complain a lot. The complaining is coming from a place of good. They want the games to be better because they're kind of tired of nonsense. Like if they if we already have low standards now and they're just lowering the ball more by not including all the Pokemon's possible and they have really dropped the ball and they should be held accountable for that. Now is that the correct opinion? There's no correct opinion. That is not that's not even my opinion on the subject matter, but that is an opinion and a feedback for Game Freak to take account in for future games. If people have an expectation of you already and you drop the ball lower than what they want, obviously people will get mad. And you know I started off with a video saying that people are just butthurt about the video game, not including all the Pokemons, but it's actually a bit deeper than that. I don't like this animation. Like I like this this strange like pulsing animation. Not not this, this is obvious, but it's or the same it's a similar uh animation, the flamethrower and hydro pump animation. Like it's just sprouting water from like basically nowhere. Uh, I wish it came out of his cannons or like his mouth at least. Um, Chinese mobile bootleg game. Pokemon Battle Revolution for the Nintendo Wii, even to this day, is still the golden standard when it comes to 3D animated Pokemon battles on a console. You understand the fact that Battle Revolution is a fighting game, while traditional Pokemon is a RPG? A quick rule of thumb. People that defend Sword and Shield with regards to animations never try and convince you that the animations are good. They usually always try and excuse and find reasons for why the animations are bad. 
Uh, as you can see from the little clip from Distant Kingdom, very good video. I recommend watching it fully through. He brought up a lot of good points. Truthfully said, there are a lot of great things coming in Sword and Shield, as in from the screenshot you can see. But there's a lot of things that are lackluster in Sword and Shield that will probably anger a lot of people. Now, people were greatly excited, or they had their standards for Pokemon. A Pokemon game, it was alright, and you can catch a lot of Pokemon, and then you can transfer your Pokemon over, have all your Pokemon on one game again, and then continue onwards to the next game. And then once that's taken away from them, they begin to build a negative opinion about the game, and then, you know, they start picking down at what's making them upset about the game and do they really want to buy it now i truly understand it and i want to say i want to redact my video about the hashtag bring back national decks i don't believe i said anything too harsh to the opposing crowd and i did make my opinion clear that i don't like the reasoning that masuda gave us initially it was a false statement but i did poke fun at a lot of people wanting the best for pokemon i really thought about it the previous weeks and I've thought to myself that there's not one single Pokemon game that I would prefer over my all-time favorite games like Breath of the Wild or CS. Like obviously there's none of there's no Pokemon games that can top them because I could play those games for hours on end. I could play Pokemon for a few hours, but they will not give me the exact same enjoyment of this. You know, it's a real eye-opening experience when I sat down, I read more about what people want instead of just stereotyping the opposing side and saying that I that they are just whining about not having a few other Pokemons in reality they are actually wanting more for the games than you guys would expect and I sit down and do my research on what the opposing side really wanted and are really thanking for the games obviously they do want the national decks but there is a large majority that wants better games and I'm in that majority now um, definitely jumping on the bandwagon. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching all the way to the end. My name's been Alpha. I hope you guys like this little commentary videos. I know I do it from time to time in between like challenge videos. It's not very refreshing thing to keep my enjoyment from making videos about the Pokemon franchise because I can't just pump out a bunch of challenges without being burned out. Uh, I like to give my opinions, but I would like to ask you to give your own opinions on this subject matter down in the comments if you can. If you have not, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name's Ben Alpha, and I hope you guys all had a great day. I'm out.